A group of lawmakers is calling on the government to cover the cost of quarantine hotel stays for context of COVID patients. Currently, central government regulations dictate that context of patients can stay at home as long as they have a single person room to stay in. If that's not possible, contacts may go to a quarantine facility and the government would foot the bill. But some isolators have reported that local governments have set up even tighter guidelines, scrapping home isolation and leaving them with a quarantine hotel bill in the tens of thousands. New Power Party legislators Cho xian and Claire Wang called out in support of people ordered to self-isolate after coming into contact with confirmed COVID cases. They say isolating at quarantine hotels should come free of costs for COVID contacts, just like stays at government quarantine facilities, which are government-funded. It's simply outrageous, according to the CDC standards, as long as you can abide by the one-person-per-room rule, home isolation is allowed. If Xinjiu City wants to implement stricter rules, we're more than willing to comply. But then, shouldn't they be the ones covering any costs? A public health official said, we're really sorry, but if you're not a confirmed case and your test results are negative, you'll have to foot the bill to isolate at a quarantine hotel. As for the hotel's price range, you don't get to choose. People in isolation say their homes complied with the one-person-per-room rule from the central government, but they ended up staying in a quarantine hotel out of pocket. And quarantine hotels do not come cheap, at 2,000 NT per person per day, and factoring in central government subsidies of 1,000 NT per day, the bill still comes to 14,000 NT, and that's not counting a loss of income from being unable to go to work. Chu says people have raised concerns with him that a full stay at a quarantine hotel for a whole family would cripple the family finances. On Article 48, which concerns persons who have been in contact with patients affected by communicable diseases or who are suspected of being infected, nowhere does it say authorities may collect fees. Moreover, authorities should even compensate the losses borne by isolated and quarantined individuals. If people are forced to pay, many will be reluctant to scan real name registration QR codes. The special budget of around 26 billion NT has not been used for covering fees in quarantine facilities or quarantine hotels. Covering those would prevent people from becoming financially overburdened. And it would make contact tracing work less difficult. It's perfectly feasible. Lawmakers say fears over isolation costs could lead people to ignore name registration measures, making contact tracing harder. They call on a government to cover expenses in full for isolators, not just at quarantine facilities, but also at quarantine hotels. 